Heavy ammo available. Let's talk about heavy weapons and how fun they are to use. Especially the rocket launcher which I'm using right now. Very nice to defend points on control because you know the enemy is on a certain point. Over here easy to defend B, didn't even see the guy, just had to shoot my rocket and got a guaranteed kill. Rocket launchers are a little bit better if you're not sure about your aim. Almost every shot can guarantee you a kill because the blast radius normally is very big. I enjoy using rocket launchers, very fun to use. But what is more fun than an enemy walking in your grenade? <laughs> oh man, you should have looked behind you, you dumb enemy. But moving on, heavy machine guns, my go-to type with heavy weapons. Even though I like to run around and get some rocket launcher kills and there are also bounties. We have to get rocket launcher kills and I don't mind using them at all. I do mind getting killed by them because sometimes they're just a random guy shooting a rocket out of nowhere, didn't even see you. He just thinks, well, maybe there's an enemy over there and you get killed by it. Blast it, bam, your, your streak is away in one shot. Ruined your gameplay, kind of frustrating, but that stuff happens. Heavy machine guns, on the other hand, take a little bit more skill to use than rocket launchers, but not really that much more. If you know how to aim, you shoot on the target, three, four, five bullets will actually kill it. Really quickly, you can take down your enemies, especially with this one I'm using right here, the swarm. It bursts through enemies, I need three or four bullets and... Mostly of the time they death before they even know what happened. And because of that, heavy machine guns are a reifiable asset of the game. If you notice, when you're sitting on C maybe, and you almost kept a point, but you're here. Heavy ammo inbound. Screw C. Go for the heavy ammo straight away, especially if you can steal it from your enemy. The heavy ammo is very important of winning the game. In my opinion, the team that has heavy ammo wins the game most of the times. Even though if it's there's a lot of bad players on the team. When they get heavy ammo, they be can become a really good asset to your team. So, if you look around, and you're at a spot where you can see heavy ammo, and you look around you and you see, you see your teammates walking to you, wait before picking up the heavy ammo. You need your teammates to win Crucible matches in Destiny. They are a really important asset to win games. If you can go solo, 50 kills, be on top of every leaderboard, but your teammates lack the ability to stay alive and get kills. You will still lose the game. Although that's really frustrating, that stuff happens, so be a teammate, be a team player and wait for that heavy ammo. Of course, in sticky situations where you're stealing the enemy heavy ammo or you see nobody around you can get it. I actually did it just right here. I saw nobody close to me and I knew my teammates were spawning at the other heavy ammo, although they got killed. And of course I'm using a rocket launcher again and there's a gunslinger guy. No problem, you can supercharge all you want, but rocket launchers ash and dust you like the bounty is said. So here I'm using the zombie apocalypse. The zombie apocalypse and the swarm. I'm still not sure which one I like the most but this heavy machine gun is great for close quarters maps. On further ranges I do like to use the swarm because of the high fire of the zombie apocalypse you have a hard time to actually get those enemies that are on a further range but the ammo capacity just makes it so tempting to always use the zombie apocalypse. I had 75 rounds in my magazine. 151 bullets spare. That's a total of 251 bullets that I can use to kill the enemy. If I play it smart and not rush and die stupidly, I can go on a really big streak. I have so much ammo to kill the whole enemy team five or six times. That's ridiculous about the zombie apocalypse and that's why I like to use it a lot. So let's see what happens if I do not screw this up. So which one is my favorite heavy machine gun? I'm not really out of it yet. I like them both a lot. But I do think at the final the zombie apocalypse is my favorite one. I do like the radical a lot, I just like to aim down sights with it. The hip fire is also great of this gun. There's not really anything that's bad at this gun, except the range, but all the heavy machine guns range are a little bit bad. I also like the fact on heavy machine guns that the difference between headshots and body shots do not really change a lot. You can actually get a lot of kills when you only aim at the body and when using a primary weapon like an auto rifle or a hand cannon, headshots do matter so if you're playing against a skilled opponent but you're using the same gun but your opponent is giving you headshots, you will die a lot quicker. With heavy ammo of course you will die quicker when he gets all headshots but you still will be able to drop the enemy really quickly without getting headshots. That's why I also like to give a little bit of a tip to players that are new, get those heavy machine guns as well to get a lot of kills. If you're not really that confident in getting a lot of kills with your aim, always go to the rocket launcher and play it safe. And we're already at the end of the gameplay. I do hope you guys enjoyed 
and please leave a like if you did and enjoyed these tips. Also subscribe if you would like more Destiny content, I mostly upload Crucible gameplay and try to get the best scores possible. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the Crucible Guardian. Game on!